Hey guys, I don't know if you knew this already, but I just wanted to make a quick announcement to you that you can still log on to PSN even on the 3.50 firmware, and I'm about to show you how really quick in a video, okay? I don't have a lot of time for this, but I'm going to show you right now. So we're here at the PlayStation, and I will show you that I'm already logged on. I'm right here. I'm not going to show you my brother's username, but um, here we go. So we're logged on, right? You'd agree that's fair. So if you go over here to Settings, and then System Settings, or I'm sorry, yeah, System Settings, and then I'm going to show you that in system information that I am still on 3.50. So you see that we are online with 3.50. That's all good. So I'm going to show you how to do this now. Um, this time you're going to go to settings, all the way down to network settings, and then internet connection settings. All right, and then what you want to do is go to custom and then you pick whether you're using a wireless or a wired connection it doesn't matter either one, I'm using a wired connection right now and then let's go ahead and leave this to auto detect and then the next one we want to do manual so now that you do manual you just want to go ahead and set up a uh, IP address for your PlayStation um, I set mine at 192.168.2.253 um, you can use whatever you want it just needs to be 192.168.2 or 1 depending on what your router uses um, some routers will, will use a 2, some will use a 1, but then just make it a, a higher number that won't be in the DHCP pool. So I made mine like 253, that way I don't interfere with any other devices on the network. And then your subnet mask is always going to be 255, 255, 255, 0. Um, your router, you need to know your router's IP address. Um, I just uh, Mine is 192.168.2.101. Yours is probably .2.1 or 1.1. And then um, your primary DNS, this is what you want to set it as. It, this exactly right here, 67.202.81.137. And this is going to bypass um, Sony's DNS servers, and you'll be able to log on to the PlayStation Network without updating to 3.55. So let's go ahead and hit Next here. You want to leave that at Automatic. Do not use a proxy server and you can disable or enable UPnP depending on what your router supports so then we'll just press X to save and you can test the connection if you want alright so there you go it looks like we're online I'm just gonna go ahead and close out and then get signed in it looks like I'm already signed in so there you go there you have it online on 3.50 firmware I don't know how long this will last um, Sony usually fixes it within a few days, but hey, it'll tide you over until we can get something out to where you guys can be hacked on 3.55. But until then, it works. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're not already subscribed to my videos, make sure you subscribe. Um, my last video that I made, I do have a giveaway going on right now for the E3 card reader. So, you guys make sure that you check that out. And also, if you need to know how to downgrade your PlayStation, my last video, I explained that to you. And I'll have an annotation up somewhere here on the screen so you guys can click on that and check it out. But I will see you guys in the next video.